Welcome to CT Small Business Toolkit, where small business innovators and influencers share the advice that will help you turn your idea into a business and your business into a success. Let's get started. Now it's always good to have you with us. Thank you. Oh, thank you for having me. A big event coming up this week in New York. Uh, I know it's going to grab a lot of attention, a lot of folks coming into town to be part of it. What's the main thrust uh, that, uh, that you have in your message to these female entrepreneurs, especially in a fairly difficult economy? Uh, the, the, the name of the event is Make Mine a Million Dollar Business. So clearly it's all about getting women with micro businesses, which is the majority of women out there, to get them on the road to building a million dollar company. And we have uh, over 90 women who are going to be pitching their business on Tuesday. And there is still an opportunity for like maybe 10, 15 more women to get into that opportunity. Uh, they're going to pitch their business uh, to a panel of, of judges and a room full of women just like themselves, and those that do well will qualify as pitch winners and get uh, lots of publicity in their hometown, a opportunity to win cash prizes, all kinds of things. So it's, it's a great time to really get your message down. We do a two-minute pitch. That's what they get to do at this, where they get to tell people what they've done, how they're going to build their business, and what they need to build their business. And it really helps you beyond the day of the conference, because anytime you're with somebody and they ask you what you do or how your business is going, you're going to have a fast, concise, really compelling thing to say to them so that people remember your business and um, you know, will think of, think of you when they're thinking of contracts or people to call or whatever. Yeah, being able to boil it down to a pretty short presentation is important uh, a lot of the time. So in, in terms of what they hope to get out of this, uh, is it exposure? Is it uh, a chance? to meet some folks who might be able to help them build that business? What's the Certainly. I mean, we have uh, everybody from the speaker of, of, of the New York City Council, Christine Quinn, who's the you know, top, top leading woman in the city, along with women who have um, Ariella Bach is coming, who has a $300 million um, uh, lingerie business right in New York City. She knows all about getting contracts with, you know, companies like Walmart. Uh, Stacey Shifflin's going to be with us, who has sold over $150 million worth of cosmetics on HSN and QVC. So we have women who, you know, started businesses just like everybody else has and have figured out how to grow them really big, as well as dozens of women who've been in the Make Money Million program for years who are now at, you know, one, two, three, five, ten, thirty million in a whole range of sectors, whether it's healthcare or construction or uh, food-related businesses. So there's an opportunity both, you know, from the stage as well as, you know, at, at different networking sessions to really have conversations with these women. Nellie Galan is coming. She's a major media mogul. She's, she's built a couple of businesses, and she will be speaking to women about how to, how to grow their company. So I, I think it's a it's an unusual opportunity to be with so many people who have built businesses beyond a million because in the scheme of things, you look at the census figures, only 1.8% of all women-owned businesses are a million dollars or more in revenue. And one of the reasons that is is because most of us don't know somebody that's hit a million. And on Tuesday at Barnard, you're going to get a chance to be with dozens of women who've done that. And it's like playing tennis with a better tennis player. When you play tennis with a better tennis player, you play better tennis. You spend a day with women who've gotten to a million, you know, 300 million, 30 million, whatever it is. You start to really understand the, the opportunities that are in front of you and how to take advantage of them because they did. They did. They made those choices that you may be wrestling with. They made choices, and the choices have put them on these incredible paths to growth. Also, the opportunity to hire lots of people, which in this economy – we all need to be thinking about how we create jobs. Let's dig into that a little more specifically. What is it that these uh, ladies who have already built million-dollar businesses, and some of them well beyond that, yes. have done or encountered and, and overcome that uh, these micro-business uh, owners uh, would like to get to uh, and are perhaps facing right now? Sure. I, I think one of the key things uh, a lot of these, what all of them have done, is understand that they need to work with other people to grow. I think only 17% of all women business owners have an employee. So at some stage, and the 
earlier it is, the better in your business. You've got to think about who are you going to work with. Too many small business owners, men and women, but I think it's more women than men, think about how am I going to get all this work done as opposed to who am I going to get to help me. So I think that's a big shift. It's not, how, you know, am I going to just stay up later, drink more coffee, you know, not see my kids or my family and just work, 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 you know, 24 hours a day? Or am I going to sit here and think about when I, when I get a, 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 an opportunity presented to me, I don't look at my calendar and think, oh, God, there's no way. I, I don't have another hour to do this. I sit here and think about who am I going to either bring in from my team or who am I going to, which vendor or, or contractor am I going to reach out to who can help me with this work. And I think that's a big shift. Understanding your finances and your financial position and what you need to do to be well-financed to build your business, those, are, I'd say, are two of the big things. Uh, that stand out. It's who are you? Who are you working with? Who are you hanging out with? And how do they help you grow your business? We're talking with Nell Merlino. She's the head of Count Me In, major conference, make mine a million uh, in the coming days in New York City. And uh, as has kind of been the undertone of this entire conversation, this is obviously a conference for female entrepreneurs. You work with female entrepreneurs. You're a very successful one yourself. Mm -hmm. What are the unique or special challenges specifically facing women in the in the business world? Deciding to grow. Make the decision. We all sit about thinking, gee, you know, it, it, this is not something that happens to you. It's something that, may, that you make happen. And I, and I think that's something. There, there are people who, who have a great product or service and are waiting to be, like, recognized or, or, or sort of tapped on the shoulder. And that just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen in life. It doesn't happen in business. So being more aggressive about selling your product or your service and, and I, I, again, I think being around other people who are doing that helps you sort of cut through that, you know, wondering and waiting whether it really – too many people, but women particularly, I think, wait until something is perfect before they're really out there pushing it. And so I think it's those kinds of things. You know, how do we really just – just take hold and and decide that we're going to grow our company and and go to things like this conference on Tuesday and just go right up to people and ask them how they did it. How did you do this? And I'm 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 having to make this decision this week. What what would you do? Because it's also I think a question of of just continually deciding, making decisions. You know, getting getting all the information and 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 sort of facts that you need, and then making decisions and moving on, as opposed to this waiting around for something to happen. And so as, as this conference goes through and all these uh, entrepreneurs get a chance to meet personally and, and get advice from these experts who have done it, yourself included, what will you then watch in the next year or, or couple of years to see how this experience has transformed those businesses? For sure, for sure. I, I'll say right now that you know, out of the you know, 80 or so women that are pitching, in, in a year or two, 10 to 12 of them will be at a million dollars in revenue. Wow. And we keep seeing this. We keep seeing it. It is, you know, it's not all because they went to the conference, but it's because, you know, these women have made the decision, 90 women have made the decision to come on Tuesday and pitch their business and, and really take a chance on themselves. And that's more than half the battle. The sooner you're out there talking about your company and telling people that you want to grow it, the more help and the more insight you're going to get as to how to do it. So I would say easily that that's what we're looking at. And this, 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 this conference is actually a homecoming for women that have been part of Make Mine a Million for the past, like, five, six years. So I think we're going to see a richness of both uh, experience and, and a, an understanding of how to take advantage of opportunities that rarely happens anywhere because, you know, we're just building this group of women at a million. And as we build it, there's going to be more opportunity for, for the rest of us. Very quickly, two quick questions. Tell our listeners a little bit more about Count Me In. Uh, Count Me In, we're the leading national not-for-profit provider of resources and information and competitions for women who want to grow their micro-businesses to million-dollar enterprises. We've been around for oh, 12 years. We operate out of New York City. We work all over the country. We've done events in 40 different locations and have other kinds of events coming up in the fall in Detroit and Charlotte, and we will be doing a 
big new uh, event in December with women veterans who uh, want to grow their businesses. Fantastic. And the website for folks who want to learn more about what you do or the conferences coming up? Uh, CountMeIn.org is the best way to find us. If you're looking for the events, it's CountMeIn.org, and just go to our event page. Fantastic. Well, Nell, I know it's going to be a successful conference, and for those who can't make it, hopefully they got a lot of good advice just from our time here together today. Thank you very much for being with us. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us on CT Small Business Toolkit. Be sure to visit our website, ct.walterskluwer.com, and follow at CT Corporation on Twitter. We'll see you next time on CT Small Business Toolkit.